So what we know is that in order to engage divergent thinking, we need access to our memory banks. We need to come up with possibilities, and those possibilities can only come from what's contained within our memory systems of our brain. Yet what we need to do in order to engage divergent thinking is suppress what is called autobiographical narratives, and in particular, autobiographical narratives. We need to discard with judgments about how certain combinations of things impacted us in the past. One way to do it is what's called open monitoring meditation or even just open monitoring thinking. Open monitoring meditation is typically done for about 10 to 30 minutes, although it could be longer. And unlike other forms of meditation where you sit and concentrate on your breathing and try and redirect your thinking back to your breathing or to your posture or to a uh, chant or a mantra, open monitoring meditation is simply a matter of having you sit there or lie down, close your eyes, and to allow whatever surfaces in your mind to surface. And what you practice is the practice of non-judgment. So open monitoring meditation involves dedicating a certain amount of time where you close your eyes and whatever thoughts arise, whatever emotions arise, whatever ideas arise, to watch those and take an inventory of them, to just merely watch them show up and pass, or maybe you become fixated on them for some period of time, or maybe even just one for a long period of time. All of that is fine. In other words, whatever surfaces, surfaces. That's open monitoring meditation. And that we know from brain imaging studies, and we know from measurements of dopamine in particular brain circuits, and we know from people who train with open monitoring meditation on a regular basis, improves divergent thinking capability. And what people find is that they very quickly, within a few days, get better at doing open monitoring meditation. And fortunately, within just a few days, and certainly within about a week or more of practice, people become significantly better at divergent thinking. And that's because of the dopamine circuits, and in particular along the nigrostriatal pack pathway becoming more active. And the wonderful thing is that when you repeat a practice and a particular neural circuit is engaged over and over again deliberately, that neural circuit becomes easier to engage, so-called neuroplasticity. I would encourage any of you that want to explore the creative process for whatever reason or get better at the creative process, dedicate some amount of time, maybe even just five minutes every other day to doing this open monitoring meditation. Now, the conversion thinking meditation is the so-called focus attention meditation, which you can think of, or I'd prefer that you think of just as a perceptual exercise, involves sitting or lying down, closing your eyes, focusing either on your breath or some element of your body. It could be um, you know, the tops of your knees or the clasp of your hands. It could be focusing on an auditory tone. You could even do it eyes open and stare at a, a point on a wall or a flame of light. What it, whatever it happens to be that allows you to redirect your focus to a particular location or idea or sound, that is known to improve your ability to engage convergent thinking, to quickly parse through or analyze a bunch of different choices and to persist in choice selection and therefore more rapidly arrive at the correct answer. This is well established. And in fact, in the episode that I did with a wonderful guest, Dr. Wendy Suzuki from New York University, she talked about how a daily meditation of about 10 to 13 minutes performed for about eight weeks. That's what they explored in that study. Greatly increases people's ability to focus and in fact, their memory, and that's exactly the point, which is that convergent thinking, as I mentioned before, requires persistence, focus, and access to specific memories. So if you are somebody who wants to get better at focusing, that is the meditation for you. If you are somebody who wants to get better at divergent thinking and convergent thinking, the two elements of creativity, that is, I would encourage you to do a dual meditation. That is a meditation that starts with open monitoring, for maybe five to 10 minutes, and then transitions to focused attention for maybe five to 10 minutes. Because the positioning of divergent thinking and then convergent thinking close together more closely resembles what the creative process really is.